Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for December 12th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Let Forever Be by Bill Murphy. This is an odd and even Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. Additionally, we have some gray circles in the grid. Anywhere we have a gray circle, we must put an odd digit. And we have some gray squares in the grid. Anywhere we must we have a gray square, we must put an even digit. Um, obviously, not all of the circles and squares are given. Bill has given us enough that we can figure out where the rest of them need to go. So those are the rules. Um, I am going to color this. Um, if you want to do this more quickly, probably not coloring is the way to go. Um, but it will help us visually figure out what we're doing. So I'm going to color all of the gray squares and even digits first. And the eight, we will color them blue. And then all of the odd digits and circles. And they'll be orange. All right, the first thing we can do is look at box one. We already have four blues, so we have four even digits. There are only four even digits between one and nine, so the remaining cells in the box must be odd. This column only has one digit remaining. We have our four even digits, so this one must be odd. This box has its four even digits. This must be odd. This column also has four even digits. It's odd. And now this column has its odd digits for this box, either way you want to look at it, it needs two even digits. So that's the left side done. I'm just coloring that one. Um, this column has four even digits already, so these two are odd. That means this must be the last even in the box, and we also could have gotten it from the row. It means this must be the last even digit in this row. Now we have four even digits here. So these are odd. Uh, this is even. I was going to do something slightly more advanced there until I saw we just had that. Um, but I will show you what it was. Um, in this box and in this column, this column has three even digits. So we know we need one even digit in these cells. But we already have three even digits. If we put one in these cells, we're out of even digits. So this must be odd. Um, but we can get there more directly by just filling that in as even, and then this is odd in the column. I don't think we can resolve these yet. This is odd. We have the four even digits here. We have four even digits in the box. Uh, this row, we already have five odd digits, so the remaining cells in the row need to be even. That gave us our last even in this box, so that's odd. Now we have four even digits in the column, so those are odd. Now we have all the even digits in this row, so those are even. And now the last two cells are odd. We also had all the even digits in this row. So now we have fully colored the grid, and at this point, this is basically two separate puzzles. The even and odd digits are not going to interact anymore. Um, they've done their interacting, and so we can consider each of them separate. So let's start with the even digits. In this column, we have 8, 6, and 2. The only thing this can be is 4. That means these are two six. The 8 can't go in these cells, so this must be 8. The 2 can't go in these cells, so this must be the 2 in the row. And these are 4 and 6, and they're resolved down here. This can't be 2, 4, or 6, so it's 8. This is 2. This is 6. These are 4 and 6 in the row, but there's a 6 here. These are 2 and 8. There's an 8 here. 4 in the column, 
these are two and eight in the column, and there's a two. That makes that a four, that a two. These are six and eight in the row, and there's a six there. There's four in that cell, two there. These are four and eight, and they're resolved. These are two and six. And these are eight, four. That's all the even digits. Done with those, we don't have to worry about them anymore. The odd digits are a little bit trickier in this puzzle. Um, that's often the case in this type of puzzle because there are more of them. Um, but hopefully we can get through it without too much trouble. I'm trying to remember where I started when I <laughs> that solved this. Um, I'm just going to start pencil marking some things until I see what it is I'm looking for. That's not 5, that's not 7. These are also 5, 7, 9. There's a 5 there, so this is 5. This is 3 or 9, this is 3 or 7. Oh, these are one nine. There's a nine there. That makes that a three. So that means these are five, seven, nine. The three resolves seven, nine, seven. So that can't be seven. So the only place for seven in this box is here. That resolves nine, five, nine. Just need to start where there are three givens already. Um, that's okay. These are one, three, five, and there's a one and three in the column. These, well, let's say it this way. There's a five, three, seven, nine, all looking at this cell. This is one. These are seven and nine, not resolved yet. Need three and five here. There's a five. One and nine here. Three and seven here. That's going to make that a five. Three in this column. It can't go here, so it must be here. This is seven, nine. This can't be one in this row, so the only place for one is there. It means this is seven or nine, but there's a seven there. And that is going to finish it off. Hopefully. Um, these are 3, 5, these are 1, 7, and 3, 7, 3, 1, and 5. That's the solution. So coloring helps a lot um, to make things go smoothly. You could do this faster without doing the coloring, um, but either way. Um, let us know how you did that in the comments, if you colored or not. Um, anyway, I will see you next time.